वेलकम बैक टू माई कोर्स ऑन इंडस्ट्रियल बायो टेक्नोलॉजी नाउ इन द लास्ट क्लास आई ट्राई टू डिस्कस द चीज मेकिंग प्रोसेस नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्विच ओवर टू द अदर टाइप ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स द वन टू यू नो दैट नाउ इट इज वी हैव बीन फेसिंग लॉट ऑफ एनर्जी क्राइसिस प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द एनर्जी दैट वी वी यूज फॉर आवर रिक्वायरमेंट usually comes from the fossil fuel fossil fuels and if you look at this fossil fuel they have the restricted uh, uh, storage the so after some time this uh, storage will be exhausted so naturally that uh, uh, that uh, it is a major concern of the of the scientists that how we can generate the uh, the alternative energy sources and it has been observed that uh, renewable energy sources plays very important role and as per renewable energy sources that we have uh, different type of renewable energy source first the things comes to, uh, uh, that is the solar energy then we have uh, this uh, wind energy then maybe your uh, tide energy so different type of energy sources we have as per you know, renewable energy but the one important thing is that the biomass biomass also can be used for different purpose because it can be also converted um, <clears throat> to some uh, different energy source and what you we co- consider as a bioenergy now now uh, coming to lecture i shall concentrate on some uh, two uh, two type of uh, chemicals which largely use uh, is considered as a promising biofuel for the future one is uh, biodiesel and there is uh, bio butanol butanol also used uh, as a good substitute for fuel now uh, in this lecture i try to concentrate on biodiesel and uh, as for the, as for the biodiesel is concerned that it can be produced from different sources it can be produced from um, vegetables so you, from the seed we can it can be produced and uh, and uh, most and also it can be produced from the algae because algae is uh, you know we know that algae is considered as a uh, third generation uh, uh, renewable energy sources because because the major advantage with the algae that it required very uh, small amount of land for the uh, for the growth of algae and we can produce huge quantity of Mm, lipid out of that and this lipid can be converted because li- lipid or fat that present in the algae or the or the uh, oil seed that in presence of uh, methyl alcohol and catalyst uh, it uh, undergo a kind of trans esterification process and it produce the biodiesel and uh, glycerol this is the major product that we have of uh, so uh, this uh, this lecture i try to concentrate on that and we'll see that how this process uh, is in operation as for india is concerned that we know that um, uh, india government uh, they are also because i told you that whatever good petroleum reserve we have in india it is for for limited very limited period hardly for 30 years so so the government of india they encourage that for other type of energy sources and the biodiesel is one of the promising area and uh, we know that jatropha uh, and other uh, uh, oil sources that largely explored to find out uh, this uh, biodiesel potentiality um, in india so if you, if you look at uh, this biodiesel the astm international defined biodiesel is a mixture of long chain mono alkalic uh, ester of the fatty acid obtained from renewable resources to be used as a, a diesel engine alone or blended with diesel oil <clears throat> so you know that it can be used uh, in combination or it can use uh, separately uh, so blend with diesel indicate the bx bx uh, x means percentage of biodiesel in the blend that means for instance if we say b5 
in, in indicate uh, that a blend of 5% biodiesel and 90% 95% of diesel fuel when you breathe, then then we call it b5 the advantage of using uh, biodiesel is the renewable fuel because uh, it cannot be uh, renewable means it cannot be exhausted because it can, it will be it will be available with respect to time it is available it will not be ex ex exhausted that is why we call it renewable so this will be with us throughout our existence and what you call sustainable this is quite sustainable for longer period of time so uh, renewable it is called renewable fuel obtained from vegetable oil or animal fat that uh, low toxicity as compared to the diesel fuel and uh, degrade more rapidly than then uh, diesel fuel and minimizing the environmental consequence uh, that uh, consequences of biofuel spills that uh, lower emission of contaminants like carbon monoxide particulate matter polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and aldehydes low health risk due to reduce of emission of carcinogenic substances and uh, no sulfur dioxide emission because sulfur content because in this uh, is because we know that uh, whenever we, we run any kind of four wheeler or three wheeler we have seen a lot of uh, smell sometimes coming out that is mainly due to the presence of the sulfur present in the uh, oil so that kind of problems we not get in case of biodiesel because it doesn't contain any kind of sulfur source now other advantages is that the it has the higher plus point that is 100 degree centigrade and uh, it is the only alternative fuel that can be used in a conventional diesel engine without modification that you know that uh, you don't have to do any kind of modification because i told you when you use the ethanol ethanol also considered as a powered alcohol but uh, when uh, it has been observed that up to 20% if you if you substitute the gasoline then whatever engine configuration is there that cannot be changed because you know with that uh, configuration is configuration is good enough for running this gas engine but uh, but when you when you go up for higher than that then we shall have to you have to change the configuration of the engine now i can i i, can, I have given the example of brazil and uh, who uh, brazil doesn't have any kind of crude petroleum so they solely depend on uh, this uh, cane because they have larger they are the largest uh, cane producer in the world and they produce the the alcohol they produce from the cane molasses that uh, that alcohol they largely use as a powered alcohol so they changes the configuration of the engine so that uh, largely they can use the ethanol to a great extent for running this engine so <coughs> so here in case of biodiesel you don't have to do any kind of modification of the engine use of cooking oil and fat residue uh, from meat processing may be used as a raw materials because sometimes uh, we we have seen in the uh, we uh, we have the different shops where we have different fried material they use lot of cooking oil or cooking oil and this cooking oil after some time it is not of edible quality so this is this oil can be used for the generation of biodiesel now this is the process that we have roughly it can be shows like this that is the seed we pre produce from the plant that which containing good amount of oil this is the oil seed we come comes from the plant and then we do the extraction of the oil so that we can get the good vegetable oil then we refined Mm, uh, this uh, this oil it is through the refining process and then it undergo trans esterification i told you in presence of methanol and and kind of uh, catalyst acid or alkali catalyst it can be converted to monoalkyl esters that is called this uh, biodiesel and that uh, can be used for the operation of uh, vehicles this is how again a carbon dioxide can whatever after after burning uh, whatever carbon dioxide is produced that can be again utilized by the plant for this growth and we can get again so uh, this is how what you call biodiesel cycle we can have in our system now that you know the raw materials used for the biodiesel production that is non edible and recycle cooking vegetable and the animal fat that is uh, largely used 
vegetable oils are rapeseed oils, the soybean, palm, and salt power that is largely used. Although the other oil mm, are also used, including the peanut, linseed, and safflower, uh, then uh, used for as a vegetable oil. Microalgae appears to be very important alternative for future biodiesel due to the high oil yield because you know that I told you at the beginning that uh, algae algae can be grow in a it is considered the third generation of re, uh, renewable energy source because it can grow in a very small uh, area and uh, and also the fat content is very high so we can use for the biodiesel production. Now this is the raw materials that we have for biodiesel rapeseed how it looks. So I mean, uh, this is uh, this is palm, palm tree, and this is the sunflower. This is used. The alcohol raw materials that is used, the methanol, I use, the mostly widely used in spite of its toxicity, is the substance used for petrochemical for of petrochemical origins. Ethanol is used very less amount because uh, it required uh, more complex uh, production technology and reaction speeds are low. It can be produced from the biomass. Difficulties arises in the phased separation and purification of biodiesel where the ethanol is used in the reaction. So that is the reason why the methanol is mostly used for the biodiesel production. We, we do not use ethanol for the biodiesel, mostly we use the uh, uh, methanol, methanol for this process. The catalyst as I mentioned that it is used two types, one is called basic, another is acidic. Basic means most frequently used at all production scales like sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, carbonate and their corresponding alkaloxides. Alka, 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 the acids and that less frequency that is used that is uh, sulfuric acid, sulfonic acid and hydrochloric acid. Enzymes that also use very less what you call lipase that is used to a great extent. Now, uh, your, your, if you look at the oil that usually form, usually remain in, in the form of uh, dry glyceride, uh, dry glyceride is like this. So, it, it, uh, it has the different hydrocarbons that we have here. So, uh, different uh, organic acid they form the esters here, you can see that. And, uh, and the fatty acids, uh, these fatty acids are may, uh, be, may be saturated, may be non-saturated. But the one thing I want to point out here, the usually the non-saturated fatty acid is usually preferable because uh, if it is the saturated, there is a every, every possibility of formation of a solidification of the oil that is undesirable because the, the oils should remain always in the liquid form. So, the burning characteristics and others, uh, we do not have any problem. So, the most frequent fatty acid in oil is the lauric acid, palmitic acid, esteric, linoic, linoleic and the linoleic acid, although the others may also present. Vegetable oil may also contain small percentage of monoglyceride and diglyceride. They also contain not only triglyceride, they contain monoglyceride and diglyceride. Now, characteristics of alcohol use uh, biodiesel, I told you that mostly the methanol is used. We, we, methanol is find uh, uh, most suitable because, uh, because it, is, uh, uh, it is more preferable in case of uh, biodiesel production process. The biodiesel is produced from the vegetable and animal fat or alcohol through the transesterification process. This reaction converts the esters into the mixture of a esters of fatty acids that make the oil. The biodiesel is obtained from the purification of the mixture of fatty acid methyl ester. Uh, fatty acid methyl esters, we call it PEM. Uh, a catalyst is used to accelerate the reaction. According to the catalyst used, tensile stratification can be basic, acidic, or enzymatic. So we have different type of um, uh, this tensile stratification process because we, do, we we convert that alcohol to one form to the ester from one form to other form. 
that you know that is uh, this uh, uh, this take place in place of acidic catalyst in place of alkali catalyst or in presence of this uh, what you call enzymatic uh, like a lipase in presence of lipase also it can be produced so stages involved for biodiesel production treatment of raw materials alcohol catalyst mixing chemical reaction what you call trans esterification separation of the reaction product and purification of the reaction product so these are the different steps involved for the biodiesel production and the first is the treatment of raw materials some feed stock must be pre treated before they go through the trans esterification process feed stock with less than 4% free fatty acid which include in the vegetable oil or some food grade animal fat do not require the pre treatment but if it required it has more than 5 4% 4% uh, fatty acid this required some kind of pre treatment before this uh, process now treatment of raw materials in this step the feed stock is reacted with alcohol what you call methanol in the presence of strong acid catalyst like sulfuric acid which convert the free acid to biodiesel so your the your organic acid is in presence of methanol it form the ester methyl ester of that particular organic acid and that is we call is biodiesel the remaining triglyceride is converted to biodiesel in the trans esterification process i shall show you the uh, the reaction of the process it is like this that you can you can see that uh, this is the ester that we do uh, have in the in the in the oil and in presence of uh, suppose this is methanol this is ch3oh uh, in presence of acid catalyst it it produce the uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, suppose here, here you have monoglyceride we have some kind of alcohol is produced and some here we, we get some kind of the esters of the methyl alcohol and this is called biodiesel we this is called biodiesel and this is called trans esterification process so here we have this ester and it is changed to this ester so trans one form of ester is changing to the other form of ester so that is why we call it trans esterification process when the methanol is the alcohol used in the trans esterification process the product of the reaction is a mixture of methyl esters and uh, and if you look at the catalyst the alcohol uh, alcohol used for biodiesel production must be mixed with the catalyst before adding the oil uh, so uh, the alcohol must be water free it should be anhydrous the alcohol to oil volume in the, the ratio r is another key variable in the trans trans esterification process and it has been observed this should be 1 is to 4 the necessary amount of catalyst is determined taking into account of acidity of the oil by titration so this is the reaction that we have chemical reaction so this is the triglyceride you can see and in presence of and the methyl alcohol and koh it it form the glycerol and we have this organic acid different organic acid we have uh, different esters we have what you call methyl esters with the r1 r2 and r3 we form this is biodiesel and this is gl so glycerin is a by product of the of the by product of the uh, biodiesel production process the temperature of trans esterification at atmospheric pressure usually in the range of 50 to 60 degrees centigrade the absence of mono and diglyceride at the beginning in the chemical reaction the reaction confirm the production of esters from the triglyceride take place in three steps this is the triglyceride then this is the methyl alcohol this form diglyceride and methyl ester then diglyceride in the methyl alcohol in presence of koh it produce uh, <coughs> monoglyceride and the methyl esters and monoglyceride and methyl alcohol it produce glyceride glyceryl and the methyl ester the, this is how it is form <coughs> the separation of the reaction product 
the separation of reaction product takes place by de decantation. The mixture of fatty acid methyl esters separate from the glycerin forming two phases and FEM floats up at the top of the glycerin settle down at the bottom. The two phases may be physically separated. In some cases centrifugation is, uh, is uh, used um, to separate the two materials faster. So, this is how we can separate the, glycerin, the glycerol from the biodiesel. Now, purification of the product is like this after the separation of glycerin, the FEM mix mixture contains the impurities of uh, some kind of alcohol, catalyst and unreacted oil. So, this is to be separated out. This impurities confer the undesirable characteristics of FEM, for instance, increases the cloud point, the power, the pore point and flash point uh, that uh, lower the flash point. In consequence, a purification process is necessary for the final product complying the standard. The FEM mixture, what you call biodiesel, first was gently with warm water to remove the residual catalyst or soap, dried and then sent to the distillation section for the further purification. The purification of this product, the, the glycerin contains about 50 percent glycerin, 40 percent methanol and 10 percent soap and catalyst. So, this, uh, this uh, even we want to use uh, glycerin, we, we can separate the glycerin through the phase separation process, but this remained in the lecture. So, this is the can be separated, methanol can be separated through the distillation process and this uh, can uh, the soaps and catalysts can be used by using uh, by washing with water. Then uh, first is was then the salt uh, is the removal unit, then the distillation unit. Now, this process schematic that you know if you look at the flow diagram, it look block flow diagram is like this. We have waste fat and oil, we have that acid and methyl alcohol, the free fatty acid uh, pre processing, then base catalyst and oil fat. All this the way you can do that, it comes to the trans esterification reactor. Then we do the acid for neutralization and settling. Then we have the phase separation. In phase separation, we do the, the washing and drying and distillation. We get the methyl alcohol, we get biodiesel, we get the unreacted oil. And, and this phase separation, we can have the salt removal. Again, we have some, some distillation unit <coughs> with from which you get the glycerin as a refinate and methyl alcohol as a distill uh, product. And this is this glycerin can be used in the pharmaceutical industries. This is the kind of block flow diagram that we have in the biodiesel production. Now, I was talking about uh, that you know microalgae also can be produced uh, produce uh, for the biodiesel production. We have been working with this algal uh, fermentation process for more than a decade and uh, we, 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 we had the collaboration I mentioned with the uh, Oslo University, also the Uppsala University, uh, Sweden and also we have the collaboration with the Technical University of Denmark. Now, we try to explore how um, this uh, microalgae can be used for the biodiesel production. Our process is very simple that uh, this is the process one process we, we there are three different uh, process through which the algae can be produced. I, um, one is called autotropic, another we call heterotropic, another is the mix, mixotropic. Now, by, by during the spirulina production, I, I discussed this process in details. So, here I showed you the mixotropic process where the organic material, mixed organic material can be used as a raw materials for the growth of uh, algae. So, here what is happening this uh, we, 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 have, we have been working on biohydrogen production process for more than two decades and uh, we produce different organic waste and then we convert it to hydrogen and after the fermentation is over whatever the farm that uh, the, the metabolites present in the fermentation broth, 
we take it in the this uh, photo bioreactor and then here we grow this algae and algae can be grown in different reactors you can see it is a sec plug then air lift reactor and flat panel reactor we get the biomass then biomass is separated through the harvesting process and through harvesting we get the cell mass and this cell mass uh, we have, we contains a good amount of lipid we through we we extract the uh, the oil from that and through the distillation uh, the process or or from the solvent recovery process and then we we, we use this oil uh, we convert this oil to biodiesel through the trans stratification process the so uh, so glycerin is the main uh, by products of the biodiesel production process the use of glycerin has several in the pharmaceutical industry for the manufacturing of ointment creams and lotion in food industry for the manufacturing of sweet then for, for soft drinks and pet foods like uh, and in the in the conversion of conservation of uh, canned fruits uh, is used as a additives for the soap different type of glycerin soaps is already available in the market and it is also used for the production of nitroglycerin uh, for the production of explosive now <coughs> in conclusion i want to tell that uh, a key environmental factor key environmental factor of using biofuel as a uh, as an additive for the petroleum based transportation fuel is the reduction of harmful em emission and biodiesel is a process through which we can reduce the harmful em emission to a great extent particularly particulate matters carbon dioxide and sulfur contents in the sulfur dioxide content in the um, uh, the flue gas in the in the, uh, uh, the the gas coming out after the burning the microalgae grow on the grown on in pond and photobiological reactor have been a great potential for the production of oil for biodiesel production the stages of biodiesel production process are the same for all production scale laboratory bio scale small media large scale however the necessary equipment will be necessary for the different purpose the biodiesel economy is concerned the lacking to the industry uh, sources back 2007 that biodiesel cost is about 1 dollar 1 1 ton uh, a gallon more uh, to produce conventional diesel fuel when soybean oil uh, is used as the primary ingredient this makes the fuel about 10% more expensive than the conventional diesel and it needs a tax break to compete with the petroleum based diesel fuel because since the since the diesel has the uh, some kind of uh, advantage for uh, safeguarding the environmental pollution problem so if we can get some kind of in incentive from the government then price we can we can uh, we, 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 this price can be can be match with the price that uh, that is we have in case of diesel available in the market and uh, in october 19 2013 uh, the diesel fuel is selling around uh, 3.8385 uh, per gallon and biodiesel is less expensive to produce than the conventional uh, the, uh, the diesel consequently many truck driven truck stops are selling this uh, biodiesel blends because they are not uh, profitable than state uh, diesel fuel the biodiesel has relied um, on federal tax break uh, to make it economically viable as long as tax tax uh, uh, tax break continues then biodiesel probably has a strong future because uh, this uh, uh, this uh, this is uh, this is a environment the great concern now it is and and uh, and uh, it, uh, it not only affects our health but also it affects the uh, environment to a great extent because particularly carbon dioxide that is coming out that causes some kind of global warming that is also we have so this problem is a is a uh, is a great concern so uh i request you you can visit this particular website to get uh, the information more on biodiesel production so in conclusion what i want to tell that uh, 
biodiesel is considered as a very effective uh, 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 that uh, fuel uh, for running the vehicles. You do not have to uh, modify the engine because whatever engine is this we to use for uh, diesel that can be uh, replaced by the biodiesel. The only the, the thing is that we still have to work out that, uh, that uh, the suitable sources for the biodiesel production. The sources are vegetable uh, oil and the animal oil. Um, the, so, vegetable oil if it is if we make it cheaper then our biodiesel also will be cheaper. The oil can be converted to biodiesel very, very easily by the help of methyl alcohol and the acid catalyst largely used for the, it can be used by using alkali and, and uh, enzyme but that is not used in, in the industry because we find acid is more favorable as compared to other two processes. So, uh, and this has, uh, this has the, the pollution problem as compared to diesel, the biodiesel has, has some uh, benefit. So, um, so we, uh, we considered that uh, biodiesel has a greater future and also we try to explore that uh, how the microalgae can be used for the biodiesel production. The microalgae might be the one of the important area because we, we know the, uh, the microalgae can grow much faster as compared to plant cell uh, or biomass, the plant biomass. So, if you can grow this uh, uh, the algae in the, in the reactor very fast, then we can have more and it contains high lipid and fats then they, that can be used for biodiesel production. So that is all about the biodiesel. In the next class, I shall discuss ethanol, bio-butanol production. Thank you.